demons, wizards, witches, time lords. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, I am touching on a new fandom in today's video. It's a fandom that I haven't really spoke about much here, but I've been a Doctor Who fan for years. I've watched all of the Christopher Eccleston ones, Matt Smith, David Tennant, Peter Capaldi, and I'm currently catching up on all of the Jodie Whittaker seasons, which I've got to say, I'm enjoying it. But today we are unboxing a very special calendar, a very special calendar indeed, because it is the Doctor Who Collector's Advent Calendar. Can we talk about the fact that this is a TARDIS? Look at it, it's an entire TARDIS, it's a police box. Woo! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try not to make the Doctor inside dizzy, very sorry. But yes, we have got an entire TARDIS which is gonna open up and we are gonna discover some really awesome things. So if you want to know what is inside this Advent Calendar, then keep on watching and hey, if you're new here, firstly, hey, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you like to come part of our weird, magical family. Now let's go, cause there's some things in here that I'm excited to explore. Okay, let's talk about this advent calendar then. I got this from a website called Mankind, Menkind, hmm, I don't know. Either way, this cost £109. It's slightly steep for an advent calendar but let's take a look at this so this is the doctor who collector's advent calendar it contains 24 days of high quality gifts i can see spoilers on the bottom i didn't know they were there do not look do not look do not look <laughs> i'm really excited how do we open this how do we how do we get in oh it's magnetized look at this look at this Woo! oh oh my god what okay that's pretty cool we've got a little secret flappy flap there as well okay so this is what the calendar looks like let's dive straight on in i'm i mean you could keep this and if you've got like doctor who shelves does anyone have doctor who shelves if so can you share a picture because i know that i'm crazy with my harry potter shelves but is there any doctor who shelves out there okay where do we start box number one also, I will apologise in advance if there's some references that I do not get because I am some seasons behind and it's been a while, but let's, let's start. Okay. Oh my God. Firstly, love this tissue. <gasps> Look at that tissue. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This is going straight into my kitchen cabinet. Let me tell you, this is a Dalek bottle opener it's made out of metal it's etched that is so cute oh my god as if there's a dalek bottle opener that's really cute okay so this says no bottle cap can stand against this emperor dalek bottle opener famous for its iconic spherical head the emperor appeared in remembrance of the daleks 1988 and recently in the time lord's victorious multi-platform event 2020 to 2021 that's so cool i love that this candor's coming with explanation cards as well that's so cool i really like that what a great thing to start on okay box number two what's gonna be inside here oh they're individually wrapped <laughs> okay okay <laughs> is this a yo-yo oh my god i love yo-yos this takes me right back to my youth so this is apparently a gravity tester which is quite cool. Let's have a little read about this. So it says the Gallifreyan gravity tester looks remarkably like a classic earth toy, the yo-yo. Both the fourth and the 11th doctors showed a fondness for the yo-yo and claimed to use it to test gravity. Featured in the amongst others, the Ark in Space 1975 and Kill the Moon 2014. Um, love that that's a gravity tester. I love it. <laughs> so fun love that right number three it's an enamel pin this is robot santa really creepy this is a soft enameled pin it's got a singular clasp on the back there's robot santa in all its glory from the runaway bride christmas special 2006 this robot santa is a scavenger robo form in seasonal disguise the 10th doctor faced them twice first in the christmas invasion 2005 this version features the restyled face for their second outing so yeah we got a doctor who enamel pin for door number three right number four Oh, it's a Cyberman patch. 
<laughs> that's a really nice patch actually that's really cool this is an iron-on patch as well but yes we do have a cyber man okay okay uh, so this says the Cybermen returned to Doctor Who in the Age of Steel, the sixth episode of the second series after the 2005 reboot. This type of Cyberman, drawn by our artist John Ross in chibi style, was created by inventor John Lumick to upgrade humanity or delete it. <laughs> That's so cool. I actually really like that. Um, I would. I need to buy a denim jacket specifically for me to customize with patches. Okay, number five is quite a big one. I cannot get it out. Okay, number five. Oh, what is this? Is it a tea towel? Oh my God, it is a tea towel. Right, is it good? <gasps> is that Gallifrey? It is, oh my God. It says time, um, take time to visit Gallifrey. There you go. It's quite a nice high quality tea towel actually. It feels really good. So let's have a little read about the Gallifrey tea towels. So the city of Arcadia is the most famous view on the planet of Gallifrey, which the doctor and the time lords call home. Tourism is rare in this location outside of time. So a souvenir like this is to be treasured. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm surprised they fit that into an advent calendar. Okay, number six then which is down here hiding in the lower corner oh is it a keychain it is a keychain there it is okay so it's very shiny oh my goodness so this says that there have been different versions of the tardis key oh that's really cool but this memorable one was used by the third doctor in planet of the spiders 1974 the final adventure for john pertwee he passed the key on to the fourth doctor tom baker as if i've just got like the key to the tardis that's going straight onto my keyring number seven is another quite large whoop Quite a large box. Oh, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> oh my God, cookie cutters. They are cookie cutters. That's exciting. It's cookie cutter with a stamp as well. So this is obviously the TARDIS, the police box. Let's have a little read about this item. The TARDIS contains a food machine that can create any meal in the universe for you in snack bar form. <laughs> but if you're unable to access such technology, this TARDIS shaped sandwich cutter will at least bring a Gallifreyan touch to your lunch. Oh my God, you could do like sandwich TARDISes. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> TARDIS box number eight. Okay, is this squishy? <gasps> it is squishy. Oh my God, what is this? Oh, it's just more tissue okay so this is it looks like it's a glasses case of some sort or maybe even a phone a little phone bag but i would use this for glasses but this print you have got all of the past doctors on there we don't get an explanation for that one which i'm i'm, I'm mildly sad about let's move on to door number nine then okay ah this one has a card <laughs> okay so it says don't worry, I've got a plan. <laughs> and it's in this kind of chibi style. It has a magnet on the back. Yes, that is my hand sweat. You're very welcome. Uh, <laughs> this is the 13th Doctor fridge magnet, which will inspire you every time you dip into the fridge, which frankly, we all do rather a lot over the advent period. Jodie Whittaker first appeared at the end of 2017 Christmas special and then began full-time time lording on October 17th, 2018. So there we have a little cartoon Jodie saying, don't worry, I've got a plan. Number 10. <laughs> oh my God, it's um another pin. And this one is the snowman and it's got a pearlescent finish. That is a very creepy snowman. The snowmen first appeared in the episode called uh, The Snowmen, the Christmas special from 2012. It said they were under control of the great intelligence and menaced London in 1892. They were stopped by the 11th doctor and young governess, Clara. Okay, this one feels a bit heavier, number 11. Let's see what is in here. Oh, cool. 
cool it's a deck of playing cards these are doctor who playing cards and it's got all the characters it says this set of cards contains four suits fourth doctor tenth doctor thirteenth doctor and monsters if you use them to play card tricks let's hope your efforts are better than the ninth doctor in rose and the eleventh doctor in a christmas carol that is very cool indeed okay number twelve oh that's cool this is like is this a card wallet Oh, it is a card wallet. So this says the Titanic Starliner Travel Pass. This is the back of it. Very shiny, I've got to say. So it says, inspired by the Christmas special from 2007, Voyage of the Damned. It says this classy travel pass holder will make you feel as if you can stroll on board the Titanic Starliner anytime you like. Of course, that may not be a sensible option, so perhaps save it for your more earthly adventures. This is like the most high quality card holder that I've ever felt. Like it's sturdy. It's not like flimsy or anything. That's really cool. I do like that. 13s all the way over here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is a Weeping Angel wine stopper that is amazing this is so heavy it's a chibi weeping angel which kind of takes a lot of the scariness away part of me wishes that it was more actual weeping angel and it actually looked like the ones i'm not a big fan of the cartoony version so it says don't blink this supper is a representation of a weeping angel and must be watched carefully Known as the Lonely Assassins, these aliens consume potential life energy by sending victims back in time. Their first appearance was in Blink 2007. I remember being terrified of that episode. The Weeping Angels are probably one of my favourite things from Doctor Who. I think they're so spooky. I think it's very, very cool. And I remember watching the episodes being like, right, I'm not allowed to blink. I'm not allowed to blink whilst the Doctor's not blinking. <laughs> Number 14. Okay, we're getting through this calendar. It's a luggage tag. Oh, it's the police box luggage tag. That's so cool. You can put all your details on there. This feels really nice quality. It's that kind of soft silicon, but it's really thick. This TARDIS luggage tag will help you remember where you're going and where you've come from. So you don't end up at a random location as the real TARDIS sometimes does. I like that one a lot. I think that's a really cool thing. And I love a good luggage tag. Number 15. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, are these Doctor Who socks? Oh, they are Doctor Who socks! These are very cool. These are Dalek socks. Those are very nice. I love the design of those. Exterminate the problem of having cold feet with these unique Dalek socks. The Daleks are the oldest foe the Doctor has, first appearing in the second ever serial in 1963. They have become a worldwide phenomenon, even making it into the dictionary. That's fun. I didn't know that. As they lack feet to enjoy them, these socks are sure to only increase their generally bad mood. I love those socks. They are so cool. <laughs> Number 16. Let's get in there. Is it another pin? It is another pin. It's the 11th Doctor. There's the little pin. Are you going to give me a little card? Yes, you are. So this is a baby Matt Smith in that kind of chibi style. I don't know what is with all these phantom merchandises using chibi. Um, not a fan. What are your thoughts about it? Like, I would rather have a pin that actually looked like Matt Smith. This is the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, as he appeared in The Snowmen 2012, his third Christmas special. In suitable Victorian attire, he visited 1892 and defeated the Great Intelligence and some rather frosty snowmen, with the help of mysterious governess Clara. Number 17. This one feels quite light. I want to say it's probably stickers or something. Oh, yes. Mm, it's a chibi sticker. I'm not the biggest fan, but this is a Tom Baker sticker. Again, I would rather it was actually Tom Baker, but maybe they can't do that to use his likeness, maybe. But let's carry on. So number 17, it says, a quote from the fourth doctor. Let's read the sticker first, actually. It says, the trouble with computers, of course, is that they are very 
sophisticated idiots. Okay, so it says, A quote from the fourth Doctor makes a suitable message for this laptop sticker. The sentiment about computers being sophisticated idiots comes from Robot, Tom Baker's first adventure as the Doctor. The quote was broadcast on January 18th, 1975. So there we have it, a little laptop sticker. It does actually feel very good quality. It's like a, a really thick kind of vinyl-y one. Where is number 18? Here it is. <laughs> that is very nicely made. Look at that. That's really cool. What actually is that though? Like what's it meant to, what's its purpose? So it says, first seen in the Daleks, 1963 to four. This mutant creature lies at the heart of every Dalek. In case you didn't know, that is what Daleks look like inside of the rather pretty exterior. It says a notable character seen in this form is Dalek Khan from the cult of Skaro, who grew to realize his own race was evil and helped the doctor defeat them. Ah, uh, very cool. Um, I still don't know what this is though. Is it a bookmark? Is it just like a pretty thing? Leave a comment down below if, if you know what this is, but I do not know. Like, I guess you could use it like a bookmark, but you'd, mm, I'm not sure. Number 19, let me see you. Oh, number 19 is the one that I put aside for later. Okay, so this is, it's gotta be some sort of artwork, right? Cause it's in some sort of envelope. Oh, it's on like, really fancy paper it's a print oh now that is a nice print that's a gorgeous print this is the emperor dalek it says you will obey this cardstock is really nice i really like that i like that i mean it's not often you get good prints in boxes or calendars but this is like nice that's really cool so this says this high quality print celebrates the 2020 to 2021 multi-platform event time laws victorious featuring multiple doctors in a new time war with their old enemy the daleks the artwork by ryan hughes features the iconic emperor dalek okay number 20 is down here let's go i think it's another pin okay they're going crazy with the pins this is of the um <laughs> the 13th doctor this is jody in that chibi style um i've probably not seen this episode yet but it, let's have a look it says this new badge features the 13th doctor she appeared in her first episode oh in that case yes i have the woman who fell to earth without gallifreyan resources to fall back on she forged her own sonic screwdriver in a workshop in sheffield so there we have it the 13th doctor hard enamel pin well it's actually soft enamel but enamel pin 21 oh this one feels like this one feels substantial and breakable let's not shake it more than we need to okay i think this is made out of ceramic what is this <laughs> is this an egg cup it is an egg cup is it what were they called um sontarian sontarian really creepy is what they are but this is like this is an actual ceramic that's been hand painted this has been hand painted by the look of it that's pretty cool and then the little little egg head this egg cup is shaped like centaurian okay the warrior race that first appeared in third doctor story the time warrior 1973 robust and fearless they will appreciate you shouting Sontaha as you crack their eggheads i appreciate the novelty of that one <laughs> 22 okay Is that a Christmas decorate? Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. Look at this miniature K9. Oh, it's very, very, very cute. I feel like my, my, my dad would like that one. That's very nice. Let's read about it. So number 22 says, this Christmas decoration features the Doctor's companion, K9. The robot dog first appeared in the 1977 story, The Invisible Enemy, starring the fourth Doctor in various updated forms. K9 has been a favorite with fans ever since. Um, yeah. That's, that's a really nice piece. Right, 23, the second before the last box. Let's open it on up then. Oh, another pin, <laughs> Heavenly Host. Look at that, that is another one. So this says, 
the Heavenly Host are from Voyage of the Damned in the 2007 Christmas episode and it says service robots on board the Titanic Starliner they gave out useful information like you are going to die however the doctor did use them to fly up to the bridge of the plummeting ship so he could save the day number 24 then I do not know what is going to be this big inside here but I'm I'm intrigued I'm excited look how big box number 24 is it's huge okay what is this? Oh, okay, so it says Doctor Who Episodic Collection in this tin. Let's read about it before we open it. So it says, some of the greatest stories ever are celebrated in this, oh, it's a coaster set. Genesis of the Daleks, City of Death, Blink and the Angels Take Manhattan. The artwork included here is by Adrian Salmon, Robert Hack and Brian Willison Williamson. Okay, let's open this up and have a little look. Oh, those are nice. Those are very cute coasters indeed. Oh, they're like metal. Okay, so we've got Matt Smith. Oh my god, Weeping Angel, look at that blink. I love this artwork. This is very, very cool. I think my favourite one might be either the Weeping Angel one or that one. This is them all together. There you go, that is the artwork. That's a really nice coaster set. I've not really seen many coasters that are made with like tin, with like cork underneath. They stack really well and I love that there's like a little tin to keep them in. I think that's just a really nicely thought out piece. That is everything inside the Doctor Who Collector's Advent Calendar, the TARDIS. Let's take a look at everything that we got. I've got to say, that is quite the haul. This is everything that we got from the Doctor Who Advent Calendar. I really like the variety of items in this. I've got to say, there are a few things that are my absolute favourites from this calendar, and that is the canine decoration because he is so cute i'm obsessed with that i actually really liked the dalek bottle opener too very nice and heavy i loved the cyberman patch and i really liked the print as well i think that was cool and of course the dalek socks this was 109 pounds to buy do i think it's worth it I feel that everything in this calendar was well made. Nothing really felt like cheap tat. Some of the designs definitely weren't my cup of tea. For example, these kind of chibi style things. But saying that, this magnet is good quality. It's thick, It's it feels like it's well made. Um, so I think that's more of a personal preference. I loved the collector's coasters as well. I think that this calendar would be perfect for any Doctor Who fan. So I do recommend it. I also love of the novelty of the actual calendar design being the TARDIS because once you've opened this calendar you can keep this as a display piece because it does look really really cool and I tell you what if I had shelves that had space on that I could keep this I absolutely would <laughs> but yeah so that is it I hope you enjoyed traveling through time with me in this Doctor Who advent calendar video if you did don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs> oh that chibi weeping angel is <laughs> it's maybe creepier because it's chibi impressive to be fair